What's up everybody? Edelsen here, I'm back with another video and this time is about something different. I got a Cadex Turtle V2 camera with DVR included as it comes, uh, which is a very beautiful FPV cam. I experienced it, probably most of you already know it, I experienced uh, to use it with the Mobula 7 HD and I fell in love with it actually because um, I, I started FPV not long ago almost together along with this YouTube channel uh, and back then not even a year ago I mean a year ago almost, yeah it's actually already around a year ago um, it, it seemed impossible to to have on such a small tiny whoop tiny whoop were starting to to boom um, have a, a full HD 60 frame per second uh, DVR video so I got um, a brand new Cadex Turtle V2 from Banggood and I didn't use it for a while and and then I, I always said I'm gonna use it on the Tyra 79 this is I don't want to put a, an action cam I tried I, I made a video you can check it out here to put an action cam on the Tyro 79, my mod did times uh, Tyro 79, uh, but it was kind of heavy. I mean, it, it could film, but it couldn't move. It's, it was pretty goofy. So I thought that the Turtle V2 was a, an excellent cam for this for for this squad. Uh, what I'm gonna do now with you, it's to mount this. Cadex uh, on the Tyra 79 and let's see what happens how it performs and how hard is it to install I kind of procrastinated um, to do this because I was afraid of uh, not making it I think I think we can do it let's do it together so first of all let's see what's in the box we got the cam itself which is already connected with a ribbon cable to a DVR. There's a the, the joystick to to do to go through all the settings. An ND filter, ND8, which is awesome to have it already. It, it costs about five bucks to buy. And that's a screen shield, which I don't think I'm gonna use, but at least in this build. My, I might edit later and screws and, and that that is a the black little part is a <clears throat> SD card holder I won't install it because my SD never got ejected so I hope I won't need it so let's fast forward a little bit and let's go through the process. This little wire here, uh, we're gonna use it uh, to uh, to wire up the the joystick for the settings uh, joystick. We'll see that later. So first of all. We're going to disconnect the old FPV camera. There we go. Now, uh, what I'm doing here is wrong. So I'm connecting directly to the DVR. But by doing this, I won't be able to connect uh, the joystick. So later on this video, I'm going to do some easy soldering and I'm going to show you how to wire everything up. So this is the wire I was telling you about, which I will have to strip and solder onto the flight controller right here. And then right into the DVR. The other side by the way always remember to remove your props all 
All right. I got a little confused at first because uh, I connected directly what the wire that went to the original cam, uh, FPV cam, um, right into the Cadex DVR. And that worked, but as I told you, I didn't have the o OSD joystick. So what I figured out is that here on these pads on the, on the flight controller, I will have to solder the wires I told you. So we're gonna take out the flight controller first. Unplug everything from the flight controller. Always remember to take pictures if, if you're not very practical about it. I'm taking a video right now, so I won't need to, pictures. <laughs> so here's where the soldering will go on. I will pin out the pads so for you to see them. And this is the cable which will go be soldered there. The yellow stands for the signal, so the cam. The black one is the ground and the red one is the 5 volts wire. Then we'll plug in the 4 pin. Plug into the DVR. The reason is why we need to do some soldering is that the left pin, the original uh, JST connector, it's smaller than the Cadex one. So I don't have a crimper, I don't have a connector like as, as small as this, so I will have to strip the wires down and solder them into the flight controller. Okay. Once we hooked up the flight controller to the helping hand, we're gonna proceed, strip the wires and pretend them. I already pretend the, the the pads here and I'm gonna mark them now for you. The relative colors. Always double check the wires. This one was a little bit loose and it came out pretty. To, uh, I pulled it a little bit. It's 
so you better double check and lose some time now then have to take the quad apart later on or short circuit something we're almost done guys and now we're gonna put everything back in place first of all let's replug everything on the flight controller just put some tape on the buzzer so that when I plug it in it doesn't get that annoying so we already plugged in the camera now this is the ESC's next thing we'll plug in our is the VTX <clears throat> upside down and the last connector is the XM plus the radio trans uh, radio receiver Right. And finally we can plug in the the DVR. And this is the OST joystick with its wire. Now we're gonna finally plug it into plug it into the DVR so that we'll we can run the settings and navigate through the menu with the joystick. We'll remove the cap and we'll be ready pretty soon to plug in the battery and go through the settings of the Cadex. Turtle V2. Three, two, one. Let's plug in the battery. Yeah, there we go. Let me mute this. So, with a joystick, we can finally go to through the menu and you can change everything here the exposure POV I'll set it to high uh, the field of view sorry not P but F as in Foxtrot I'll flip the camera and I'll leave it like this so good for me I'll leave it yeah I leave this stuff like this though. I just wanted to flip the camera. Oh, and what I want to do is to set the auto record mode. This is full HD 60. There we go. That's auto record mode on. Great. We're done. Save it and exit. There we go. We're back on the other side and now we're going to put everything back together. Oh, one more thing, because I don't have any more space in the stack, I will tape the VTX and put it right next to it.
And here we go, done and dusted. We're done, guys. We made it. So this is the work finished. So I stuffed everything in there with the VTX in the back. And let's go to the field and try it. I had a major issue on the field. Uh, I didn't remember. I had this problem this summer as well, and I, ne I never flown the, the squad since. I, th I think the, the the VTX is half ride, and uh, just right after takeoff, I don't. I, the DVR on the goggles wasn't recording. I don't know why, so I cannot show you how bad the, the goggles were. I had no video feeds some points and, and I had to come back right pretty soon so you won't see much but you can already see that the camera is working the DVR is working uh, this issue is not because of the Cadex because I had it on the old camera FPV camera as well and as you can see the video is smooth clear crisp and I love it. I really love it. I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot of fun on this squad as soon as I replace the VDX or fix it. Guys, what else can I say? Thank you so much for sticking for so long. This is, I guess this is my longest video so far. And thank you so much. I hope it was helpful because I couldn't find videos about actually mounting and installing this, uh, the Skedex Turtle V2 on the Tire 79. Again, this one is a Tyro 79 based quad. I mean, the frame is different, but everything else is comes from Tyro 79. So again, I hope this helped and we'll see more videos of, like this and of this Tyro 79 modified quad full HD and thank you so much keep subscribing guys because we're growing and growing I just crashed the 10,000 views record which is awesome for me in almost a year I never expected to go that far so stick around happy flying <laughs>